Good afternoon. You're watching A Peculiar People. What you're looking at here is a 7x14 V-nose trailer. It's a dual axle, two 3,500 pound axles. <clears throat> Some of you may remember, I'm going to try to link, if I can, figure out how to do it. The video I made a couple years ago of my bug out conversion camper. Now this is along the same lines. I'm going to make a, you know, kind of a stealthy camper unit out of this. Just a sleeper or a way to be hidden inside the city. And uh, I got a few ideas for the design. Now the one I had before was 5 by 10 so the bed went this way and it pretty much took up the entire thing because it was only 10 feet long and so there was you know maybe two feet at the end two and a half feet at the end where I could step off the bed and it wasn't tall enough for me to stand up in and it was only five feet wide so this one being seven feet wide I could sleep this way you know perpendicular and so it's 14 feet long and by allowing myself to sleep that way I can have a lot more space for the build out and this one also has a side door which the other one did not have uh, I got the insulation insulation package on this which you know obviously the, I'll have to come in here and I spray some foam or something before I put the finishes on but uh, tighten it up pretty good. But this is going to be the 2.0 version of the ghetto camper. And I think it's going to be better. It's going to hold more weight, it gives me more room. I'm six foot three. I can stand up in here uh, completely. So I got some room to spare. So that's nice. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall right inside those doors and that wall is going to have two bunks again going perpendicular and that there's going to be windows in that wall so when I get to where I'm going I can pin these two doors open and I'll have basically an exterior wall right there with the windows and that'll give me my ventilation I do have this one that built in and I opted for that there's another one in the back there over there I opted for that other than the dome vent because on the old camper I didn't use the dome vent very much and you got to remember to close it when you move in which I did in a couple times it didn't damage it but when it rains you can't use it and so usually I'm gonna do an air conditioner in here as well and a heater so most of the times you're using either heat or air conditioning and if I have that wall with two windows I can have ventilation as much as I would get from that dome uh, anyway and so what I did in the last one is I had one of those floor model AC units and I built it into the corner and I drilled a hole through the floor and vented it out down through the floor so from the outside it's going to look much as it does now right so if I'm camping somewhere in a city where I have to use stealth which that wouldn't be my goal then I would just it would just be the way it is and I would have minimal venting so obviously if it's in the summer or the middle of the winter that would be tough right but that would be an emergency situation only if I'm using it as I had to here at the church or in a campground or something I'll always have a place to plug in so I'll have the heat or the AC as needed and so that's it this way here when i'm traveling with it or when it's parked it just looks like a cargo camper 
Again, much along the same lines as the original one I did, only larger. Thanks for watching. God bless you.